Welcome back once again to HowToCookGreatFood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, we're going to do a roast beef. The beef I'm using today is a ribeye roast. Now, there's lots of different types you can get, of course. This is a nice ribeye. We're going to heavily season this, as you can see, with salt and pepper. I'm then going to put a little bit of olive oil on there, rub that around on all the ends, beautiful coating and then we're going to go into a baking tray onto our stove top so what we're doing here is I just want to brown this get a bit of color on the sides well in fact all over I'm going to be flipping it around a few times just to get a nice bit of color there then we're going to set it aside And any juices in that pan, we're going to be collecting it in there. If you're using something like a, a sirloin roast or something that's got a lot more fat on it, you'd be gaining a lot more fat from this process right now. So a little bit of colouring, and then we're going to take that out, like I say, set it aside. And then in that same pan, I'm going to drop in some vegetables. So celery, carrots and onions in my case, with a few cloves of garlic. What we're going to do is touch that up with a little bit of pepper. We're going to touch it now with a little bit of olive oil. Okay, so now we've got our vegetables there. We're going to place our beef back on top and then it's time for the oven. Now, depending on the size of your joint, your, your beef joint and the type, would depend on how long it goes in the oven for. Now, what I'm going to do is stick a link below for a fantastic BBC link, which is a calculator for all types of meat. So take a look at that. Okay, out she comes, beautifully done. We're gonna let that sit for about 10, 15 minutes, just to kind of let it get all its juices back through it. But with those vegetables, we're gonna make a fantastic, beautiful gravy. Let's go and do that. So we're gonna mash down these vegetables as much as we can. Just using a fork there to mash it. Over to the cooker where we're gonna add a little bit of flour. So let's just cook this flour just for like two minutes. So we get rid of that kind of floury taste there. Wonderful. In goes our stock on a nice low heat. Let's just cook that for about three or four minutes. It'll thicken up nicely with that bit of flour. And then simply what we're gonna do once it's ready, we're gonna put this through a sieve, discard any bits, and we're going to end up with an absolutely beautiful, flavorful gravy. So a fantastic gravy, super tasty, lovely consistency. And of course, that works really well with our roast beef. Now, as our beef has been resting, we're going to get some juices out of that. Now, I'm not going to waste that. That's going to go straight into our gravy. Give that a little mix. OK, time for slicing. So the first cut obviously is gonna be well done. And as we go in, it's gonna be a little bit pinker. I like that little bit of pink just there. Let me slice the rest of this. And there you go. A lovely, lovely roast beef. Super, super moist and tasty. And look at that fantastic gravy that we've made with all of that goodness. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll see you soon. Lots of love.